your first alert weather. A much better day today, especially compared to Saturday for you with sunny skies. The only problem has been is a lot more chillier. Only temperatures and high temperatures specifically up into the 40s during the day today and even might not even be that much to so the wind 15 miles an hour even though it is coming from the south it's bringing forth cold air with it um, into our area. He's looking at Viper radar showing really the trailing storms left behind the system what came through overnight last night down for some mix of some snow and some rain down by Preston Montpelier up to Soda Springs. Even some of this mainly diminishing down in the southeast, further down into Utah, leaving us with what most of our conditions have been throughout the entire day. Nice and sunny, just with a little bit of some partial clouds mixed in with it. So moving forward ahead, here's our big system that we have. High pressure system has been pushing everything out with the cold front down to the south, which has been good. But it's very small. It's only a short wave based on the large scale of things in the low pressure center that's been moving continuous moisture into our area. It's going to continue to be that way. It's almost like stuck right over there uh, by the Gulf of Alaska. And it's helping to move all of these clouds and all this moisture is a beeline highway straight on east until it comes back into our area. And that's going to happen again soon because, again, that's only a temporary high pressure system to give us just a slight break for how long our Vipercast shows you possible an isolated storm again happens from Soda Spring to Preston again throughout the night tonight, but that's the worst of our worries. Tomorrow's looking absolutely beautiful. Just another cool, chilly day with some more cooler uh, air coming in, flowing in with the wind. It's Tuesday morning and we start to see more rain and snow on our doorstep starting in the early morning hours and the bulk of it comes right in midday for the day on Tuesday. Again, it's going to be one of those days where we get consistent rain showers. Uh, into the valleys, Rexburg down to Pocatello, even down to Preston, and into the Magic Valley, in throughout to Boise as well. Meanwhile, snow showers capturing, again, central Idaho, and including western Wyoming as well. But if we turn the clock a little bit, see, this continues throughout most of the day, but some of the snow can try to creep possibly to the upper Snake River Plains by Tuesday overnight into Wednesday morning for Yanino Falls and Rexburg moving forward. So how much snowfall are we looking at by the end of this? It's going to take a while until we get to the actual system itself, but about two to four inches in central Idaho, not too much. Possible some in western Wyoming and the Tetons, possibly a half a foot. But even notice by the time this really kicks out into Thursday, again, some of it just could barely creep in Idaho Falls in Rexburg, possibly for us moving forward. But moving into tomorrow, it's going to be a beautiful day until we get to that wet day for you on Tuesday. Highs sticking in the mid to low 40s after a very chilly morning in the 20s moving forth. Here's our highs and lows for tomorrow. 47 in Preston, 42 in Lava Hot Springs. Moving on north, 42 in Driggs and 43 in Rexburg. Might not even get to 40 in Island Park tomorrow. Mid 40s for most of us. Boy, low is getting down to the teens in central Idaho, though. Make sure to grab your heavy coat out there. Highs in the mid 40s in the Snake River Plains and Magic Valley High, 47 in Burley tomorrow. Here's your eight day forecast. Moving forth, Blackfoot 44 tomorrow. Up to only 45 on Tuesday. That's when we're going to have our main mixery precipitation day. Maybe, just maybe, holding out for some snow possible uh, early Wednesday morning and Tuesday morning for Blackfoot. But high sticking in the mid 40s for much of the week. Rexburg 43 tomorrow, down to 40 by Thursday on Veterans Day, but possible we'll get up to 50 by next weekend. Jackson. Boy, it's a lot of snow coming uh, with most of the system, but could be mixed in with a possible little bit of rain on Tuesday, but most of it, the bulk of it is going to be snow on Tuesday and Wednesday. Salmon, 46 tomorrow, up to 51 at least on Tuesday, and getting to the mid-50s by next weekend with some slight rain chances. Uh, sticking around mostly rain, possible with a mix of some snow most of the week. Pocatello, main rainy day is on Tuesday, 90% chance. Moving down to 10%, a slight chance of a system that can move in on Friday and Saturday. And boy, so mixtures of precipitation for most of us, including into the Snake River Plains on Tuesday. Boy, sheesh, that can really uh, get some <laughs> of us in our area. Again, I know, but I've been looking forward to possibly getting snow, at least here in Idaho Falls, especially right, some from the right, south. Yep. So this could be the system. Could be the one. Could be. <laughs> can you hear the cheers from the skiers? Yes. Or from me, right. uh, from people <laughs> right, like me as right. well. But uh, 
Yeah, it's going to have to cool down enough. Hopefully, with the lows stick down in the 20s, they might. All right. All right. Thanks so much, Ed.